what you have in some blood. Take the place to get If you want grain, they can come and get it from there. You can, you can give it to them when they come. This is the only one? Is anyone interested in this? <laughs> is, this is this more? Maharaja Tama, Bhikshi Guru Pad Padma, Nishi Lila Pravishta Aam Vishnu Pad, in the same unlimited obeisances, in the dust of the lotus feet of my Padma Rajatama, Shikshi Guru Pad Padma, Om Vishnu Pad, Astotara Sita Shri Srimad, Srila Bhakti Vedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaj, to all of our Guru Varga and all the assembled devotees. So, I would like to make a couple of announcements first, and then we'll make the same amount, same announcement in the intermission time. I spoke with Sri Pad Brajanath Prabhu this morning, and he told me that Srila Gurudev is getting better every day, and he's definitely coming to Honolulu tomorrow. He said they have but their tickets booked, and it's definite. Secondly. Just after this class, at about 12.15, there will be a fire sacrifice for those who have received at this festival Harinam and Diksha initiations. So everybody's welcome to attend that. And hopefully it will be also uh, televised. Then I would like to say something about the pujari of this uh festival here. I don't think he's here now. His name is Balaram Prabhu. And I just wanted to say something about him um, to encourage you all to seek advices from him in terms of deity worship, rules and regulations, uh, different uh, dominical uh, activities, uh, just whatever a Brahmin would do for purification or um, offering of boga, anything in relation to the deities and uh, dominical rules and regulations. He's uh, lived in the uh, Shikesha Jigodiya Mutt for how many years? Balaram, your brother-in-law. Five years he's lived in the mud in Mathura. And Srila Gurudev has personally instructed him how to perform RT and other uh, deity-related services. And he's also had the association of many senior devotees and lived with them. And also lived with Gurudev for those years because Srila Gurudev's uh, home base, you could say, is Sri Kesha Jigodi Mutt. He's also very humble and shy, so he's not going to put himself forward. But uh, he looks different. Usually if I describe somebody, they look like everybody else. But he's different because he's Indian and usually wears a brown, long kurta. So uh, you can, uh, if you like, take advantage of his association while you're here or even by email. Very nice devotee. Then one last announcement. There's a um, Vaishnava relationship or communication seminar uh, given by uh, one of Prabhupada's followers named Dear Govinda Prabhu, which will take place in Nabadweep ten days before the Nabadweep Dham Parikrama is to begin. That is, it will start on February 25th. And for any of you who are already going to be in Navadweep and who are feeling some desire to increase your um, talents in communication, 
both for preaching to new people or old people and also for just your own uh, interrelationship. If you find that sometimes there's tension and not good relations and you want to learn some very simple and wonderful techniques for improving that relationships with devotees and communication with devotees and uh, preaching or sharing to others, then um, I recommend this seminar. And Gurudev has also blessed it. And I attended it, Vrinda Devi, um, uh, Kamalakanti Prabhu, and many other devotees. And I mentioned you just now. Padmanabha Maharaj also, Naini Maharaj. So um, it's very recommended, it's very helpful, a lot of fun. Okay. And we um, sometimes uh, Srila Gurudev or Srila Prabhupada give instructions about, not sometimes, always, they give instructions to us how to behave with different classes of devotees and non-devotees, showing mercy, being friendly, being shanadapi, and we want to be, but we can't figure out how sometimes. Or uh, we say something that we think is Trinatopi, but it turned out that the other person thought it was the biggest apparat to them that they ever heard. <laughs> so these are just some very fun, practical techniques to, um, to make those kinds of relationships very nice and sweet. Okay. So uh, my god sister, Rasangi Didi, requested that we give a class on the subject of japa. So uh, I'd like to share then with you during this talk various things that I've heard from Srila Gurudev and Srila Prabhupada on that subject. About um, 15 or so years ago, 14, 15 years ago, I began being increasingly concerned about the bad quality of my japa. So I would ask uh, God brothers and God sisters, this is about a year or so before I met Srila Gurudev, and I would uh, give them some appeal, please say something to help me have some more taste in my japa. And they would quote very wonderful slokas from the scriptures. Very interesting, but it didn't touch anything inside to make the change happen. Then, when I first met Shula Gurudev 14 years ago, I asked him the same question. I said, I've been chanting Harinam for 26 years, but there's absolutely no taste and not even the slightest interest. It's just do it and then it's done. So how can I get some taste for the holy name? So Gurudev sat up very straight in his uh, bed Vyasasana and said, you have to associate with somebody who has taste and then you'll get taste. Such an obvious and simple uh, answer. So I thought in my mind, do you mean yourself? Because, of course, the message was coming that associate with me and you'll get taste. When I first met Srila Prabhupada in 1966, he would speak a lot of nice things, 66, 67, in those first years, and he faced this kind temple in New York City at 26th Avenue. And some of the interesting things he said are the following. He said that um, when the first temple, second temple was open in San Francisco, one of the devotees who went from New York to San Francisco to open that temple, Rai Rama, one of Prabhupada's first disciples, Prabhupada said, Rai Rama was calling me from San Francisco and we're 3,000 miles away because Prabhupada was in New York at the time. So he's saying, we're 3,000 miles away and Rai Rama's calling me and speaking to me and then his existence, his life, his sound vibration is coming through all those telephone wires that are in all the roads from the west coast to the east coast 
and then they come out at the other end, and oh, there's Rai Rama. So if a mundane sound vibration of a mundane person with a mundane voice can bring that person, actually could bring the form of the person, then what to speak of the holy name? Which is, or who is, absolute, since Krishna is absolute. So Prabhupada said, so the holy name of Krishna is the subtlest form of Krishna. And what is the form of the holy name? Sri Bangalalit, Krishna in his threefold bending form. That's the form of the holy name. And what's the form of Hare? The form of Hare is beautiful uh, Tadit Savarna Champaka. Uh, Srimati Radhika, who has a complexion like lightning, a champak flower, and gold. You were just singing uh, Hari Nama Tua Anika Sarupa, very beautiful song by Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur. And there, he's saying, O oh, Hari Nam, you, pro- you possess Unlimited forms, such as Mother Yasoda's son, he who increases the bliss of Gokula, the son of Nanda, the deep well of Rus. You are also the slayer of Putana and Trinavarta and other demons. So, Shilabhati Vinantakur is saying that you are that. It's not that Krishna is in his names or even that his names are a manifestation of him, but Krishna is his name. So that means his name is performing all those pastimes as much as Krishna is because you can't distinguish between the two. Krishna means his pastimes. So the various names of Krishna, which are about Krishna's performance of various pastimes, include those pastimes. The Hare Krishna mantra includes all of the pastimes in Srimad Bhagavatam, Chaitanya Charitamrita, Bhagavad Gita, and not only the Srimad Bhagavatam that's in this world, Prabhupada said there are 60 volumes or 30 volumes of Bhagavatam in this world, but there are 30,000 volumes on the higher planets like Brahma Loka. So millions of more pastimes than are in the Bhagavatam. And Rasalila, which took place over the extended period of an entire night of Brahma, which means billions and billions of years. That pastime, not only one day of it, but millions of Rasalilas, and all of Krishna's incarnations, and all of their pastimes, and all of their powers, including um, Mahavishnu, who's also within the body of Krishna, and all the powers of Mahavishnu are also in the body of Krishna. And because Krishna's holy name is Krishna, we can understand that Mahavishnu and his powers of breathing in and out innumerable universes every time he exhales, billions and trillions of universes come out of his body and when he inhales, they go in. So back and forth, that's the entire creation. So the power of all that is there in the holy name. Whenever Srila Gurudev and in the very next second to recreate all those universes. Plus, the holy name has the power to take away all material desires and give Krishna Prem and Kamatmika Bhakti, the love of the gopis. Just as all of Radha and Krishna's pastimes are present in the holy name, 
Srila Gurudev, Srila Prabhupada and all pure devotees' pastimes are also present in the holy name. Once, back in 1967, when Srila Prabhupada was going back to India for the first time, in July of 67, he said, when we're chanting Hare Krishna, we're packed up tight. We're in one place, because Prabhupada is also in the mantra. There are five stages for chanting the mantra, and in the fifth stage, you get to meet uh, Guru Dev and Prabhupada and all the Guru Parampara, because you also enter into the mantra. The five stages in chanting, number one, mantra art chintan, which means meditating on the meaning of the mantra. Usually, this refers to the five stages of meditating on Gayatri Mantra, but it applies to all mantras, including the Hare Krishna Mantra. And the Hare Krishna Mantra includes all of the mantras. So the first stage in chanting is called Mantra Art Chintan, which means meditating on the meaning of the mantra, who is the deity of the mantra, what are the qualities of that deity? And what is my relationship with him or her? Like if it was Hare, then you know it was her. Then the second stage is called Nyas. What are the rules and regulations for chanting that mantra? For the Gayatri mantra, of course, uh, one should be clean, if at all possible. If you're on an airplane, it's obviously not possible. And you can't face north. Sometimes you have to face the back of the seat or the side of the seat if you know which way you're going. But whenever it's practical, you can follow the rules and regulations for chanting the Gayatri Mantra. It should be done in the Sunday time, the um, junctions between day and night, night and day, and morning and afternoon. Um, but for the Hare Krishna Mantra, there's no rules and regulations of time, place, or circumstance. Even when Gurudev has an operation, in the middle of an operation, he's chanting and the doctors are in wonder. Once, uh, back in 1966, in his quarters, Prabhupada told me, because I had to go in for some errands, he said, last night, uh, Oh no, once a friend of mine said to me, did you have a bad dream last night? And Prabhupada said, yes, how did you know? And his friend said to him, because I heard you say, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So there's no barrier or rules and regulations for time, place, and circumstance. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was once with his disciple, um, and his disciple was carrying his water pot and a cloth because Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was going to the bathroom in the jungle. So while he was passing, Mahaprabhu was um, chanting that he was holding on to his tongue as if to stop himself from chanting, from chanting. So Gopal was his servant's name. And he said, why did you hold your tongue to stop chanting? And Mahaprabhu said, because I'm engaged in an unclean activity now, and I don't want to give any uncleanliness to Krishna, who's not different from his name. So his disciple Gopal said, his servant Gopal said, then what, do you, what will you do at the time of death when you're in a very unclean situation? Will you stop yourself from chanting then? Because also the holy name is beyond any material contamination. Nama Chintamani Krishna Chaitanya Rasa Vigraha Purna Shuddha is completely pure. So Mahaprabhu said, Oh, now I see you are my guru. And since then he became Gopal Guru and then Gopal Guru Goswami, one of the very important acharyas in our Gaudi Alliance. Srila Gurudev likes to tell the story of uh, one um, 
one man who was very busy. He never had any time to chant. So uh, Narada Muni was trying to encourage him to chant. He said, I don't have any time. So somehow or other Narada Muni convinced him that he had time, like when he was in the bathroom. So he was in the bathroom in the jungle, chanting Harinam, and Hanuman was flying by. And Hanuman thought, what an offender! He's in that unclean activity and condition, and he's chanting the name of my Lord Ram? How outrageous! So he gave him a big kick on the back. And you know, Hanuman is very strong. When he kicked, uh, was it Megan?